hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a very simple yet very effective hair growth spray if you're experiencing hair shedding hair breakage dandruffs board patches alopecia this spray encourage healthy hair growth and scalp stimulation it strengthens the hair follicles it thickens the hair prevent hair thinning this hair growth spray would thicken your hair in no time it works really fast in growing out your hair if you're consistent at applying it to your hair you can use this amazing hair growth spray to grow out your hair in just two weeks you can use this spray three times a week to hydrate your hair and you will see amazing results so if you're interested to see how i make this amazing hair growth spray you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add two cups of water into the pan then i'm going to transfer the pan to the stove I'm going to allow the water to boil for a few minutes. So once the water has boiled, I'm going to go ahead and add my first ingredient. So the first ingredient that I'm going to be adding is coffee. You can use any coffee of your choice as long as the coffee contain high level of caffeine in it. Coffee is known to boost hair growth. It reduces hair loss. It cleans dead cells on the scalp and allow new cells to grow. You can use coffee to darken your hair, especially if you have gray hair. As well as this, coffee also helps to promote healthy hair as well. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of coffee into the boiling water. The next ingredient that I'm going to be adding is cloves. So cloves is extremely beneficial for hair growth because it contains vitamins, which helps to improve the growth of your hair. Using cloves water and cloves oil together will help to increase blood circulation and maximize hair growth. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of cloves. A little goes a long way. Cloves is very, very powerful ingredient, so you don't need that much of it. The next ingredient that I'm going to be adding is rosemary. So you can either use the fresh rosemary or the dry rosemary leaves. So I'm going to be using the dry rosemary leaves in today's video. Rosemary is a very powerful natural ingredient as well, especially if you're trying to grow out your hair extremely fast. Rosemary promotes hair growth. It prevents hair loss. It stimulates hair growth. It strengthens hair. It fights against dandruffs. It's amazing for scalp issues as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of dry rosemary leaves into the boiling water as well. I'm also going to go ahead and add one stick of cinnamon. So cinnamon is also amazing for our hair as well. It treats hair loss. It increases blood circulation to the scalp, which lead to encouraging hair growth and reduce hair loss. It's also amazing for antifungal properties, which may help to treat dandruffs. Once I'm done adding all my ingredients, I went ahead and mixed everything together. I'm going to allow it to boil for about 10 minutes. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video and not yet subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. So all the ingredients we added are all natural and it's not going to cause any harm to your hair. So you can use it on your hair as well as your kids hair as well. So what I love about using natural ingredient is that you don't have to worry about any eden chemicals adding to your um, spray or your oil because all the ingredients we added, they're all natural and it's safe to use. So you want to make sure to cook it for about 10 minutes. If you don't like this method, you can also do the other method as well. 
So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and add hot water into the mason jar. Then you want to add all your ingredients into the mason jar as well. Then cover the mason jar. Then you can infuse it overnight. So that method is called 12 to 24 hours infusion. Okay. So this method that I'm using in today's video is the fastest method. If you want your spray straight away, then you can do this boiling method. I always do this method. It works just as well as the other method. So as I mentioned before, if you have time on your hand and you're not ready to use your spray straight away, then you can do the 12 hours to 24 hours infusion. If you want your spray straight away, you can use this method that I'm doing in today's video. So pick whatever method that works best for you. After 10 minutes, this is how it looks like. I'm going to allow it to cool down for a few minutes. After cooling down, I went ahead and strained out the leave-in conditioner spray. As you guys can see, this is how it's looking like. I transferred the leave-in conditioner spray into my applicator bottle for easy use. So if you're a big fan of essential oil, you can go ahead and add essential oil to your spray. Um, you can add essential oil such as clove essential oil, rosemary, lavender, tea tree, peppermint. Um, just basically add any essential oil of your choice. Essential oil is also amazing when it comes to hair growth. So if you're a big fan of essential oil, go ahead and add your chosen essential oil. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining two ways in which you can use this leave-in conditioner spray in today's video. So this is how it's looking like and is ready to be used. So the first way in which you can use this spray is as a pre-shampoo treatment. So what you want to do is apply the spray to your hair before wash day. So section your hair into smaller section, apply the spray to every part of your scalp. Once you're done applying the spray to every single part of your scalp, you want to go ahead and massage it in. Scalp massage is also extremely beneficial when it comes to hair growth. Also make sure to apply some of the spray to your hair as well. It helps to strengthen the hair and reduce split end as well. So make sure that the hair is fully saturated with the spray like so. Don't forget to apply it to your crown section, your edges, the back of your hair. Basically anywhere that you're having problems such as your edges, if your edges are pulling out, if it's thinning out, if you have bald patches on your crown section, just apply it to those problems areas. Then you want to go ahead, use your fingers to slightly finger detangle your hair, which will help to reduce hair breakage. Once I'm done applying the spray to the entire scalp and hair, then you can go ahead and twist that section, then move on to the next section and repeat the same process. The other way in which you can use this spray is as a leave-in conditioner. So I would suggest apply this leave-in spray to your hair or your protective style twice a week or three times a week, depending on how flexible you are. It's going to help you to grow your hair and it's also going to help to get rid of dandruffs or any scalp issue or infections that you're experiencing on your scalp. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my DIY hair butter and seal in moisture to the hair. I made this hair butter a few months ago. I have the video on my channel. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. I apply my DIY hair butter moisturizer to seal in moisture to the hair. So if you don't have time to make this hair butter or if you don't have all the ingredients, what you can do is you can also apply your favorite leave-in conditioner as well or your hair butter. You don't have to use the same hair butter that I'm using. Just use your favorite leave-in conditioner or your hair butter. Don't forget to apply the hair butter to the ends as well because our ends are prone to split end and they need love and care. So always make sure whatever product you're applying to your hair, always make sure to apply it to your ends as well as this will help to also strengthen your ends as well. 
so guys we have come to the end of this video if you enjoy watching this video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you have any question for me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification so that you get notified whenever i post a new video so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys bye